please come up to make your speech. Thank you, Dr. Chair. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. Thank you so much for attending the 2023 Board of Trustees installations. I'm Dr. Kim Yi. I'm honored and humbled to be elected as the chairman of the board this year. First of all, let me express my sincere gratitude to my colleague board members. And also, I want to thank the medical staff, the management, and the employees for the hard work and dedication. Special appreciation goes to our previous board chairman, Mr. Kidman Chan, who is on sick leave, and our acting chair, Mr. Harvey Louie, picking up the rest of the work. This year marks Chinese Hospital 124 years in serving the community. As you already know, Chinese Hospital was born from necessity in the late 1800, facing systemic exclusion from other hospitals, targeted racism, hate propaganda, and violence. The Tonghua dispensary was found because of a much needed healthcare for San Francisco Chinese people. Today, many of our patients from different races and different ethnic background choose Chinese hospital because of our competent, exceptional health care. That includes acute care, complex surgery, and other life savings procedures. We are bilingual. We have a blend of East West wellness practice. So that was then. Now we are still a community center hospital. Now, in both bubonic plague and COVID 19 pandemic, the public's reactions and Chinese hospital response was the same. Public panic transformed to fear and then leads to misinformation and misdirected blame, discriminations, and targeted violence. Undeterred in the face of such adversity during the plague and COVID 19, Chinese hospitals provide widespread, community focused public health care. In both cases, Chinese hospitals prevent an outbreak of disease in Chinatown and safeguard the neighborhood, and subsequently the whole San Francisco. During public health emergency, in the past, pleasant and future, Chinese Hospital is here and will be here to safeguard the community. As we reflect on our past, it is also important to plan for tomorrow. Although our history stems from exclusion, we know that the future depends on collaborations and partner with other health institutions. 2023 remains an extremely challenging year for Chinese hospital and the healthcare industry as a whole because due to labor shortage, high inflation, and supply chain interruption. I'm asking all of you, please support Chinese hospital effort to serve our low income residents, new immigrants. So in 2023, we will focus on expand collaboration and create new programs and services. Uh, we want to improve the quality of care and patient's experience. We want to enhance our financial viability and operational efficacy. We want to continue to lead to safeguard our community. Chinese hospital is the only remaining independent hospital left in San Francisco. We need the government and community support to sustain financially. So please remember, there are many ways to support Chinese hospital and using Chinese Community Health Plan or CCHP 
for your health coverage and use Chinese hospital clinic for your all other health needs. So uh, thank you and wish you a safe and healthy, prosperous year of the rabbit. Great, you have a great board. So this year we'll